What if the person you trust the most turns out to be your worst nightmare? With suspenseful music swelling over a dark, ominous background, we pose this question to you. In this video, we unravel the chilling tale of a man from South Wales who committed unthinkable crimes against his own daughters. This is not just the narrative of a man who committed heinous acts of sexual abuse, but the story of an extraordinary case where the perpetrator used psychological manipulation as his weapon instead of physical force. He dictated his victims' lives, posing as a psychic, and in a grotesque twist, he fathered six children with one of his daughters, a horrific testament to the extent of his manipulation. In a further shocking act, he manipulated a friend into violating one of his daughters. His reign of terror was eventually brought to an end with a 40-year extended life sentence, 33 of which are to be served in prison. A chilling reminder of how the human mind can be warped to control and torment others. This story warns us that manipulation can take many forms and can come from those we least expect. Stay tuned, subscribe, and join us as we delve into the depths of this horrifying case. Who was this man and how did he manage to keep his horrifying secret for so long? This question pierces the heart of our story. A man, a father, a monster, hiding in plain sight. Originally from Southwest Wales, he was a man no different from others in appearance, but his actions spoke of a darkness that went far beyond the ordinary. This man orchestrated a terrifyingly intricate plan to manipulate and control his victims, his own daughters. He posed as a psychic, a spiritual guide, someone who could see beyond the mortal plane. Through this persona, he sent his daughters emails dictating their actions, their lives, all under the guise of spiritual guidance. It was a facade, an elaborate scheme designed to ensnare his victims in a web of deceit and control. But here's where the story takes an even darker turn. This man didn't just groom his daughters, he also facilitated their abuse at the hands of others. One instance saw him arranging the rape of one of his daughters by his friend, a chilling act of voyeuristic brutality that defies human understanding. The man's defense? He claimed that the sex was consensual, that he didn't know the children were his, a feeble attempt to deny the undeniable, to shirk responsibility for his heinous actions, but the evidence was irrefutable. DNA tests confirmed that he had fathered at least six of his own daughter's children. His actions were not merely immoral, they were a violation of the most fundamental human rights. So, who was this man? He was a manipulator, a predator, a wolf in sheep's clothing. He used spirituality and trust as weapons to dominate and control, to veil his crimes under a cloak of mysticism and authority. He was a master of deception, a puppeteer pulling the strings of those he should have protected and loved unconditionally. This man's actions were not just evil, but calculated and manipulative. They offer a stark reminder that monsters don't always lurk in the shadows. Sometimes they hide in plain sight behind the mask of a trusted figure. Justice, as they say, can be delayed but never denied. The courtroom bore witness to this truth as the trial of the man from South Wales unfolded. The prosecution presented a case built on horrifying realities, evidence that laid bare the extent of his monstrous deeds. At the heart of this case was a series of DNA tests, irrefutable scientific proof that confirmed the unthinkable. This man had fathered six of his own daughter's children. As the trial progressed, the court was presented with a myriad of shocking revelations each one more disturbing than the last. The man's defense, a feeble attempt to justify his heinous acts, fell on deaf ears. He claimed the sex was consensual, that he didn't know the victims were his own children. Yet the evidence told a different tale. A tale of manipulation, of grooming his daughters into having sex with him by masquerading as a psychic who sent them emails, guiding their actions. His crimes didn't stop at that. The court also learned of his cruel orchestration of the rape of one daughter by a friend, a sickening act he watched. These revelations, coupled with the DNA evidence, left no room for doubt. The defendant was not just guilty, he was the embodiment of evil. As the verdict was delivered, the courtroom held its breath. The man stood emotionless as the hammer of justice came down on him. The judge, in his ruling, did not mince words. He described the man's behavior as totally evil, a sentiment echoed by everyone present. The sentence was as severe as the crimes committed, a 40-year extended life sentence. 33 of those years to be spent in prison with a further 7 years to be served on extended license. This man, whose actions were among the worst the judge had ever encountered, had shattered lives, leaving his victims to pick up the pieces. 
He will not be eligible for release for 22 years and will be eligible for recall to prison until he is 100 years old. The judge described his behavior as totally evil and sentenced him to a 40-year extended life sentence. And with that, a chapter of this tragic tale was closed, but the echoes of its horror will reverberate for years to come. The victims, burdened with their lifelong trauma, finally got a chance to voice their pain. The statements they released rang with an eerie resonance, painting a stark picture of their suffering. It's a chilling reminder of the depths of human depravity and the resilience of the human spirit. The victims, two daughters of the convicted man, shared their experiences, allowing the world a glimpse into their tormented lives. Their words were not just a recounting of the horrifying events they endured, but also a testament to their strength and courage. They spoke of years of abuse, manipulation, and betrayal by a man they should have been able to trust. Their father. One victim spoke of the twisted manipulation, how their father groomed them into submission by masquerading as a psychic, sending them emails dictating their actions. This dangerous game of mind control was a key weapon in the arsenal of their abuser, allowing him to maintain his horrific control over them. The other daughter recounted the profound impact the abuse had on her life. She spoke about the stolen innocence, the shattered trust, and the deep-seated fear that haunted her every waking moment. She spoke of the pain of bearing children who were also her siblings, a result of the monstrous actions of their father. Their statements underscored the lasting effects of the abuse, the emotional scars, the psychological trauma, and the struggle to reclaim their lives from the shadow of their past. Their words painted a heartbreaking picture of lives that were irrevocably altered, dreams that were brutally crushed, and a childhood that was ruthlessly stolen. But their statements were also filled with hope and determination. They spoke of their will to survive, to heal, and to ensure that their story could serve as a warning to others. Their words echoed with a plea for understanding, for compassion, and for change. Their words were a chilling testament to the horrors they endured, but they were also a powerful declaration of survival and resilience, a poignant reminder that even in the face of unimaginable suffering, the human spirit can prevail. What lessons can society learn from such a gruesome case? The chilling tale from South Wales is more than just a story of a man's heinous acts. It's a wake-up call to societies worldwide, a grim reminder of the importance of vigilance in our communities. It underlines the fact that abuse does not always come from a stranger lurking in the shadows, but can emerge from within the confines of our own homes perpetrated by individuals we trust. It's a call to arms for us to be more observant, to not dismiss the subtle signs of abuse and manipulation. The perpetrator in this case used his position of power and trust to control and exploit his victims. He groomed them into believing his lies using the guise of a psychic, a clear demonstration of the terrifying extent of manipulation. We must educate ourselves and our children about such tactics to ensure they can recognize and resist such manipulative behaviors. This case also underscores the urgent need to strengthen our child protection systems. It's a stark reminder that we must do more to protect the vulnerable from the unthinkable. We must work tirelessly to develop robust mechanisms that identify potential threats, respond swiftly to allegations of abuse, and provide comprehensive support for victims. The victims in this case suffered unimaginable horrors for over two decades. Their courage in coming forward and their resilience in the face of such adversity is a testament to the human spirit. Their stories should inspire us to act, to ensure that such atrocities do not repeat themselves. We must foster an environment where victims feel safe to speak out, where they are heard, believed, and supported. In conclusion, this case teaches us that we must remain vigilant, that we must be proactive in recognizing and combating manipulation and abuse. We must strive to better protect our children to create a safer world for them. This case is a grim reminder that monsters often hide in the places we least expect. 